Morning, everybody. Man, the Ozarks are killing me. So when we moved down here, we had a farm plan with several crops and things that we were going to do to supplement our income here at the homestead. But it's just been failure after failure. And the lavender is not looking good right now. So I'm going to give you a look at some of the lavenders Why I try to shelter the mic from the wind because it's supposed to be 45 mile an hour wind gusts today. You can see it's kind of crazy out. But here's the lavenders. This is the sign right here. They've got root rot. They've got that fungus. And I just don't think there's no recovery. So the actual recovery process to try to save these would be to remove them from the ground, remove all the affected roots, replant them in soil. Well, I don't have any room where there's gonna be light and dry. I mean, they're just every single one has got that fungus. Every single one. This is going to be a hundred percent loss. And keep in mind, we are only not even in December yet. We haven't gone through January and February where it's even more moist. So I'm going to do a Hail Mary. I'm going to go buy a fungicide and put it on there. But even Everything I find on the internet says, once the plant has it, you need to remove the affected roots. The fungicide's probably not gonna work. But at this point, it's the only thing I gotta try. <sighs> I might be going back to a nine to five soon and leaving this uh, whole farm thing behind. It wasn't the plan, but it might be my reality. Damn, I'm feeling discouraged today. <sighs> now these are the Lavender Phenomenal. They're supposed to be the ones that are supposed to do the best down here. And they are looking the best, but there are still signs of root rot. Have fun. You know fungal problem they just all got it wow it died it wasn't just a week ago that I put this on to protect it from the frost this is 6 mil fabric I don't know exactly what the heck happened to it. Maybe it just didn't get no water. But the ground, you can see, is... Ah, man. That was a significant investment for me. A hundred dollar tree. And uh, months of keeping it. Well, I don't know. Dang it. And the blows just keep on coming. Look at this. This is my Barbados cherry. It's dead. Barbados cherry dead. Spanish guava. Dead. 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 Orange tree's got tons of black spot mold on it. Hardy kiwi's dead. Male hardy kiwi dead. Figs dead. In the greenhouse, nonetheless. Man. Just kick me while I'm down, Ozarks. All right, well. Here we are back out at the lavender field and I'm about to throw my Hail Mary, which 
which is hydrogen peroxide. It's just unfortunate that I don't think there's no saving these. Everything that I've looked up says pull out the plant, remove the affected roots, plant it uh, in clean soil, trim it back, trim all the damaged stuff back and start all over. That's just not happening out here. I got 300 plants. I don't have no place to put them where it's going to be dry. So what's really frustrating because there are lavender farms down here in Missouri. I don't know if these did this because they're young, because this weed fabric cloth under here. I don't really know. But this is my Hail Mary and I don't have high hopes for it. We're really gonna have to do some considerations about what we're gonna do because this was the number one money maker for our farm here. What's going to be. So I'm gonna have to rethink the whole thing, figure out what we're gonna do. Uh, let me get to putting this i'm gonna put it on a few and see if it does anything i have my doubts but I'm gonna try something anyways so we're just gonna squirt some in there Get it down into the soil. Hopefully try to help the plant in one way or another. Picking some more random ones. See what it does. It. <sighs> so I'm not really hopeful with this stuff here. We've still got a couple months to go of moist ground. We're not even in December yet. We got December, January, February, and some of March. So even putting this on, even if it does kill the bacteria or the fun fungus in there, it's just going to come back because the ground's not going to dry up. Put them on hills, hoping that the, we keep the moisture out of them. But the ground all over out here, it doesn't matter how high your hill is, it's still going to be damp and moist. Humidity in the air, everything like that. The snow, the freezing weather. What's irritating about it is there are lavender farms down here in Missouri. I don't know what their secret is. I don't know if they brought in all new soil, all new dirt. or using chemicals. I don't really know. But we're definitely going to have to rethink this whole process because this was going to be our... I had my high hopes here with the lavender as being our money maker, but it's not looking that way anymore. So definitely going to have to figure some things out. 